Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Dunlop sales rep extraordinaire, Kevin Young in the house. We're going to explain the new FX500 line from Dunlop. Stay tuned. All right, Kevin, thank you for joining me. Hey, Harry, thanks for All having right. me. Thanks Pleasure for, to be here. Thanks for bringing the rackets in. Oh, yeah. You know how I love toys. Yeah, baby. <laughs> new, new, the new stuff. Oh, yeah. Brand new. So talk to me. I, besides the great-looking blue color here. What do you um, think of that blue? I actually like it. It's really, really... Every, I think the graphics are fantastic. Eh? Every new blue that comes out gets better. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous why what you guys are the the graphics people are thinking of these days with these blues. I'm look at that blue. We'll give you a nice close up of that blue. And of course we have bags to match and oh shoot. All that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> bags, rackets in blue. Yes. Guys. Yes. So we know how much you guys love blue. All right, so let's talk about this the racket line. It's called FX series, F meaning Force. Force. Yes, we use, instead of power, we use force, mm -hmm. FX, force to the X factor. That's so, what it means? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We've got some calculus if person. If it doesn't, I, ma on. I made it up. It sure sounds good, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, no, it's, it's, this is, this, if you want a, a, a racket with some pop and some power, this, baby, you need to try this one for sure. Mm. This is an exceptionally good uh, line. The whole line is, is powerful, by the way, which we'll, we'll talk about. Okay. So this is a power story from Dunlop. So Force, the name Force has been used in previous lines too. Mm -hmm. And so FX, this is probably the th second or third FX series that's come out. And this could be the best one. Oh, I, it's the new, <laughs> it's absolutely the best one. The new improved FX, absolutely. So what's the difference between the previous version to this version? All right. So this being a force, a powerful racket, a power story, I'm going to do this again. Rackets go like this. They flex mm -hmm. and they torque. And the rackets that have a lot of flex, like our CX line, the mm -hmm. ball goes... Mm -hmm. These rackets are much stiffer. The ball comes off, mm -hmm. right? So a lot more pop without having to work too hard. Mm -hmm. So the racket is more rigid this way, more rigid this way. Again, ball comes off really big. But the problem with making stiff rackets is sometimes to some, some people really like that feel, that more dead, more a stiff feel, mm -hmm. like playing a little more with a, like, with a, a two by four. like a two by four, mm -hmm. but how do you make that feel better, more comfortable? Mm -hmm. And that's what we have nailed with this. Oh, so it's a it's a stiff. We've lowered the stiffness index, but usually when you lower the stiffness stiffness index, what happens to the power level? It also go you know mm -hmm. goes down a little bit. Right. We figured out a way, and I I can't. I can't divulge the secret sauce and, and all the technology of how we did that, uh, but we made it. We figured out a way to make a, a, a. It's a little less stiff, but it's retained its power level. Okay. So that's yeah, through uh, several different uh, additions that we've done in two thousand in two thousand twenty three. So that's basically the differential. Now, would that be Sonicore Infinergy? This is Sonicore with Infinergy by BASF, okay? Feel that. That is really super cushiony. Mm. It's got a really elastic, cushiony feel. And we put this secret uh, material, not really secret, but we put it at 10 and 2 right here to make the racket feel more forgiving, more comfortable. And again, I think that is where we nailed it here because we took a powerful racket that's very stiff and you make it feel comfortable. Wow, that's good. That's that's really good. So is this stuffed in here? I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> stuffed in there somehow. I don't know exactly how they, they lay it up, but it's... Okay. Uh, and one of the other things we've done is, you know, the, the carbon layup that they do. Mm. We've laid it out differently, and I asked, well, does that mean we went from this to this or this to this? 
I can't tell you that. Oh, it's <laughs> That's not. secret, but we've changed the way we lay up the graph, the uh, the carbon fibers to, um, it's, it's it's just part of the, the, the technology there. Just from my history with Dunlop, like 20, 30 years of it, you went from a 2D braid, 3D braid, and then a 4D braid. So I'm guessing it's a four-dimensional braid, and you added this in there. I would say you're probably right on yeah. that. I'm not a rocket scientist, so I don't know all the the ins and uh, ins and outs. I can talk uh, a, a lot of you know head sizes, weights, balances, right. but that that's a little bit at this point in my career with Dunlop after 11, 12 weeks. I can't really tell you exactly <laughs> all that stuff, but it, yeah, it, right. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. As you evolve, you know, you get into like, like you're at the 4D already, what else can you do? I don't think there's such thing as a five or a six. Uh, so you have to stick with that and then move on to adding some foam in there. Well, another <laughs> great, I, I will tell you one thing that's very impressive to me, and you can feel it when you play test the racket, which I highly recommend you mm -hmm. do. Come down here and grab a demo and take it out. This uh, beam, is tapered so it's thinner here thicker through the meteor part where you want it to be mm -hmm, right exactly. for that pop power and that zone. power and then it thins out a little bit here so this particular model the tour is the heaviest of our line uh the height 10 8 unstrung 10 8 unstrung and 101 rackets 101 maybe you know this maybe you don't but unstrung who plays with a racket that's not strong nobody yeah, exactly. so it's you always add 0. 0.6 for string so we're talking 11 4 strung mm -hmm. okay also we talk about balance this is nine points without string but who plays with the racket unstrung exactly. so when you put string in it you subtract three from the balance always and it's just a standardization so this goes from nine points headlight to six points headlight still pretty headlight because we want to be able to get rack the top players they want to be able to get racket head speed so exactly. we put the weight in the handle so it's heavy but it's uh, distributed mostly in the, in the handle um who would play with the tour who would play with the tour so this one is 21 millimeters 23 21 so still pretty thin and then it beefs up and then gets a little bit thin this is a player stick for sure mm -hmm. the people who are gonna i would say uh, a lot of players who play aggressively from the baseline mm -hmm. or counter punchers but i think that because of the weight and the balance i think you're probably looking at more singles type play not necessarily but a lot of your higher performance players maybe 4035 plus maybe but probably four o plus side, four more. plus side, four o right. plus four five five o. I think that's what what you're going to see. Right. Perfect. Nice. nice. All right. So let's move on to the top selling racket in this line, and maybe all of Dunlop, the FX five hundred regular in the hundred. Hey, Coach Harry, I loved the tour. The tour was awesome. <laughs> I really liked it, but I, I I can't play with a 98, and that racket's too heavy for me. So what do you got? Oh, baby, right here. This is the FX500, and it is 10.6 unstrung. Add the string, 10.11.2. Mm -hmm. It's not as headlight. It's seven points headlight, so when you add the string, it goes to... Uh, do do the math on that. Yeah, so yeah, it goes yeah, down yeah. to four points headlight. Right. Uh, a little lighter, a little more maneuverable. Still great pop on this racket here. So now you're getting into more uh, a wider array of players. Right. It's still slight. It's it's medium weight. A little maybe a little bit tad uh, heavier than than the middle of the road weight. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is this is an this will be probably our best seller. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great all-around racket but coach coach i love this one this feels great but i need something a little lighter what do you got oh here oh, we go we beautiful. got ls the ls stands for light spec on the ls so a little bit lighter this one is i believe this is 10 one mm -hmm. that's a good you guess. believe I'm, right 100 percent right yeah. and all of a sudden you can just feel the maneuverability right so if i'm playing more doubles i probably want something that i can maneuver quickly right mm -hmm. at the net but still have some good power so this is going to hit a lot of your club players the three the three o minus two five plus up to the four o four o plus this is a this is an exceptional racket for the great majority of right. uh 
of your players out there. Players but out women, there. perfect for exactly. women too. Exactly, yeah. and uh, you're starting to get into some a lot of a lot of juniors would be gravitating toward this. And that's a hundred too, right? Uh, yeah, we have three. So we have one ninety eight. We have three one hundreds, and pretty soon I'm going to show you a one oh seven as okay. well. Okay, okay, perfect. So, so that's light. But coach, coach, I love that one. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm younger and smaller, and I need something hyper light. What do you got? Oh, we have the five hundred light, light as you can see right here, the five hundred light. So this one is nine five. Nine five. Nine five. So unstrung, ten one strong. Ten one strong. God, that feels so good. It's super lightweight. It's really maneuverable. And uh, coach, I love the color. It's fantastic blue. So, coach, coach, I love that racket, but you know I only play doubles, and I need something. I, I, hundreds too small for me. I need an oversize. How about what a one hundred seven? What do you got in the o OS? <laughs> Boom! This is a this is going to do very well for us as well. The one hundred seven. It's nine three unstrung. Uh, you know, it's nine nine, so it's pretty light, pretty maneuverable, but still has a great amount of power and a gigantic uh, sweet spot. So. For all you doubles players out there who wants a bigger racket, easy maneuverability, 700 is the way. So here's one thing I noticed about the line in this one and this one. Most people go with a 16 by 19 string pattern. You guys are taking one cross out of there and going 16, 18. Are uh, we? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we the first three are sixteen nineteen. Yeah, but that one is these it. two are sixteen eighteen. Right. I do know, I do know my my string <laughs> patterns as well. Yeah. So he's a hundred percent right. Sixteen nineteen on the tour, the five hundred and the five hundred LS light spec. The light and the one oh seven are sixteen eighteen. So that's mm -hmm. a great observation. So more spin, more power, easier access to both, um, possibly break strings faster yeah yeah i think you know when you add more strings in rackets tend to play a little more like a two by four correct right a little uh more of a dead feel 1820s some guys some guys some people really like the 1820 but not most humans most no. humans like uh -uh. a more open string pattern because they're looking for more of this Boom, right. they want a little help from the string bed so giving it opening up the string pattern gives you a more of a trampoline effect totally. so over here on the 1820 you've got the 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 wood the piece of the two by four and over here you have the giant trampoline and right. most people live kind of in the middle totally right 14 so, 16 that's what i like you, you, do, you like that huh? wow i like to string that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an eight minute string job exactly for you, right? that's what i'm talking about so anyway, this that's our FX line, and we're very, very proud of it. I think it's gonna. It just came out. I think uh, mm -hmm. the twelfth of uh, January was the launch. You've seen a lot of the the blue, the Dunlop blue, with the Fly and D logo mm -hmm. on the strings, right? You see a lot of those at the uh, Aussie Open. We had a good showing this year. Let's talk about who on tour will be holding this racket. Will oh, there boy. be any players? Yes, there's a whole list of them. Our poster child right now for this racket Draper. Is, is Draper, Jack, Jack Draper, the big uh, lefty from Great Britain. Right. He's uh, he's a big boy, and he uh, he he looks good in the racket. Oh, he looks great but, in the but racket. But there's there's uh, several others, and and there's a whole whole line. We have quite quite a few. We just added three new players, uh, uh, actually, to the Dunlop team, Jensen. Brooksby? Brooksby just joined the Dunlop team. Really? But, he, but he's not playing the FX. He's playing the CX200. Okay. The red ones, the thin beam. Sure. Control to the X Factor rackets. He, what a, what a, what a. That's right. I did see what him. What a in get he has been That's for right. us. That's great. Uh, he, these young 20 somethings, it's the next generation that we've invested in. Uh, mm -hmm. has been a great addition. And then we've added a guy named Alexi Pop, Poplin. Pop. Poplin. I, I've goodness. heard of him. And pardon my, sure. pardon, I massacred the name, I'm sure. But we're super excited. These new young studs, uh, you know, playing with the with the Flying D. It's it's really great for the brand. Totally. So, yeah. Totally. Yeah, we, we're investing in tour players, and I think you're going to see more of that uh, in the future here. We got Max Purcell and oh yes, Aunt of course, and, yeah, and <laughs> Lee or Lie um, to that mix too. So, uh, looks like you guys are. 
got a bright future here with this racket. Yeah, I think, I mean, I am so proud and feel so fortunate to be uh, rep. I didn't know a whole lot about uh, Dunlop um, Sports, Dunlop Tennis before I joined the team. And I am exceptionally happy to be on the team representing Team Dunlop. <clears throat> and I think, uh, I think you're going to see great things uh, from us uh, in the, over the next year to five years. So Perfect. We yeah. look forward to it. Everybody's waiting for that CX-200, the next thing coming out. Um, by the way, our, our line, this will be in the line for three years. So okay. we just came out with the SX, the beautiful yellow ones, uh, in 2022. Right. And they're still going strong, especially the uh, SX-300 mm -hmm. is doing really well. Uh, we got Michael Moe out there playing with that. He's a really good-looking uh, Oh, yeah. We uh, know Michael. Can candidate. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. And... and uh, so uh, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be gonna be really good. Good. I think it's gonna be a good. Uh, we got a bright future ahead of us. That's perfect. All right. So guys, that's the FX five hundred line with the seven hundred edition for the people who want a little bit more power. If you're looking for an all around racket, hey, my favorite, the FX five hundred regular. The 98, you're a slightly better player. We got the light ones for the people who want more maneuverability. And then the big boy right there for the doubles or those people who want a little bit more power. All right. Kevin, thank you for explaining thank, thank that you much, line, Harry. man. Thanks, thanks thank for you. having me. It's, it's been it's for, great to be here. Thanks for bringing these in. Yeah. I love them. I can't yeah. wait to try them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Kevin from Dunlop Racket Sports. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey, bud. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, so I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Harry. No. You'll I'm... be moving your feet, watching the ball. This, this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>